My name is Raju Reddy and I'm a tech entrepreneur uh, based in Silicon Valley and uh, I come to India quite often, uh, almost once every, uh, at least once every three months. And uh, this is my uh, fourth uh, visit to uh, Hubli, uh, the third one to a uh, development dialogue and uh, just thrilled to be here. Uh, every time I come here, uh, you know, I find this to be like a, uh, uh, a really uh, uplifting experience uh, in many ways. And uh, uh, it's just amazing to see how uh, this has also grown over a period of time. Again, uh, every time I come here, uh, it's just uh, 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 wonderful to see so many young people that uh, are, you know, uh, not only equipping themselves with this knowledge, but, uh, you know, have uh, and have that uh, sort of a, a joy of uh, learning and making a difference. Uh, but, and now I think... Uh, uh, because we've seen about 10 years of the development dialogue here uh, and the sandbox model in operation at Hubli, uh, you can see there are fairly significant, uh, you know, difference that uh, it has made uh, to the local community. I mean, some of them, in fact, are just uh, this morning I was uh, uh, driving up here with uh, Ketan and uh, Santosh. Um, you know, they uh, 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 have this uh, program that they started a long time ago, right, for skill development with fuel and, you know, it's just amazing. I mean, today he's already addressing about one million, one million, you know, uh, people uh, with that. So, and, uh, and the kind of transformation that I think in many ways this sandbox ecosystem has made. And when I talk to that young man, he talks about his goal uh, to get to 10 million such, you know. And that's exactly the kind of answers, it's exactly the kind of ambition uh, and uh, sort of approach we need from more of, uh, you know, uh, uh, India uh, and especially the young people in India. So that, you know, gives me a lot of hope uh, when I sort of talk to these people. And uh, it's also really heartening to see the kind of uh, participation and enthusiasm of uh, so many people from around the world. Um, you know, that come to these conferences now, uh, certainly here in Hubli, but also in Nizamabad, uh, the Kakhtiya Sandbox, we've had uh, just uh, an amazing participation last year uh, and also this year, which uh, we're expecting uh, to have similar participation next week. So, you know, again, uh, it's a joy to be a part of this uh, sort of a sandbox uh, model of economic development. And, uh, you know, uh, just, just looking at uh, what I've seen here and talking to a lot of the young people, um, it's, uh, you know, the future is very bright indeed for India. I, 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 I'm really uh, uh, pleased with sort of the theme for this year conference, which is, uh, you know, on scaling effectively. Uh, because India is a country of 1.3 billion people. So, you know, it's very nice that we have uh, some uh, excellent pockets of, uh, you know, progress. Uh, somebody doing something in his or her village or, you know, in the little town. But uh, unless we make a meaningful difference to a very large population, uh, we, uh, you know, are not going to really transform the opportunity for most of India. And uh, the sandbox model, and uh, I guess the way I think about this is uh, not to scale effectively. One, uh, I really think uh, uh, the nation can benefit by having many other such ecosystems. And, uh, you know, the way I think about this is also if you have 20 such, you know, sandbox ecosystems around the country, and I guess today we have three, uh, starting here in Hubli and then in uh, Kakatiya Sandbox in Telangana and uh, in Varanasi, Exo Sandbox. So if you have 20 such sandbox ecosystems, each touching roughly about, say, 10 million people, I mean, that's 200 million people. That's about 25% of India's rural population, right? 15% of overall population. And that, to me, is an answer to, you know, a lot of the issues, uh, the challenges, and the opportunities that come from, you know, rural India. Uh, and to get there, one, yes, I do think it'll be good to have more such ecosystems, uh, but also... I think increasingly, uh, at some point, government also plays a very big role. So I'm glad to see the level of participation this time. We have a lot of the, you know, uh, uh, secretary level folks from both Karnataka and Telangana here at the conference. Uh, because the government at the end of the day has the largest resources, whether it is in education, health, uh, you know, employment for the matter. Uh, uh, so I, I think it's really important to have their participation. Um, and... Uh, then uh, certainly, you know, the kind of, uh, a lot of these things also take capital. Uh, so to have the corporate support uh, and uh, foundations and philanthropists around the world and not just within India. Uh, so 
it's uh, i i think uh, you know again uh, uh, the, the, there are very few countries that has uh, that have such a young population uh, so in many ways uh, i think india uh, yeah it, it can be a bane or a boon uh, and i think in our, in this case uh, from what i'm seeing in the sandbox ecosystems uh, it's absolutely a big boon uh, and a great opportunity for india to be you know one of the dominant economies in the world